This week in New York, we are holding the, the largest World Congress in history. We have over 10,000 people attending approximately 50 different countries, and they're all here to talk about what's most important, and that's saving lives, saving time, um, saving fuel, and also the fact that we are able to improve the environmental issues with the technologies that we're talking about today. If we think about the number of deaths on the nation's highways today, every year we kill 42,000 people. That's the equivalent of a 737 falling out of the sky every day. And that's just unacceptable. This World Congress is the largest gathering ever of vehicles that can communicate with one another and communicate with the roadway to create an environment where cars don't crash and you improve the efficiency of the transportation network itself. The technologies that are on display at the World Congress on Intelligent Transportation Systems are technologies that are here today. They're, they're being deployed in different communities around our, around our country and they're being outfitted in, in automobiles. We're at the stage now where we need to take this and, and jump start it so that we have widespread deployment throughout the rest of the country. We're facing a transportation crisis in the United States. 42,000 people die a year and that number's not going down. We're wasting over $300 billion a year and, and the average American spends more than a week's time in traffic. That's an un those are unacceptable statistics. In 2009, Congress will enact a new surface transportation bill. It's a golden opportunity to provide more transportation funding for intelligent transportation systems. Intelligent transportation systems are critical to help save lives, optimize our transportation system, and improve our environment. So intelligent transportation systems are really going to transform the way the American public moves, whether it's passenger movement or freight movement. We've also got all the collision avoidance technologies that are going to be distributed or, and, and viewed here at this, at this session, um, as well as our whole approach to traffic management. That's what intelligent transportation systems is all about. It's about transforming the way we move people and goods across this country and th indeed throughout the world. Hey, I wonder what we'd hear if I'd turn on the switch and we're driving along in 1976. Roger Firebird 2, move to electronic control strip in center lane. Well done, Firebird 2. You're now under automatic control. Hands off steering. The truck is going to make a turn, so I would assume that there's going to be enough adequate clearance 
for the truck to make the turn before that gray Acura reaches the intersection. Oh, well, that's true. However, the black Acura, you'll see, will attempt to follow the truck through the left turn, but it won't be able to see the approaching vehicle, this gray Acura. Warning. The collision prevention system will issue a warning to the drivers of both vehicles to indicate it's not safe to proceed in the current oh. vectors. Oh, wow. Wow. Now, remember, what... Oncoming traffic. Cross traffic. information is created, and that means no gaps in data and a paradigm shift in traffic.